Welcome to PK Tries, where I try things and tell you about them. Today we're going to be trying Mary's Chili Verde, Mary's Chili Verde sauce. No, Mary's Chili Verde, no sauce. Mild green chilies with beans. Let's look at what the can says about this. Mary's Chili Verde, AKA Dragonfly Chili. In 2014, Mary Parker was crowned the Green Chili Champion at the International Chili Society World's Championship. Good job, Mary. She named her Chili Verde, she named her Chili Verde recipe Dragonfly Chili as a tribute to her son. I assume her son's not a dragonfly and he just likes dragonflies. Mary's unique blend of pork, a variety of chiles, and other ingredients are simmered together to perfection. Perfection. It says the heating directions, it says uh, on the stove top, which is what I, I use. I don't really like canned things heated up in the microwave. They don't taste right to me. So I did this on the stove top and this is what it says. Empty chili into saucepan. Stir occasionally while heating over a medium heat, about five minutes or until hot. It's about what it took me about five minutes, probably closer to four, uh, but we got it nice and hot. I'm gonna have some right here before me. And this is gonna be my first bite of it. As a Texan, I have uh, pretty strong opinions about chili. So we'll see how well this one stacks up. It's not very green, although it's definitely not uh, a red chili as you would normally think of chili. There are a lot of beans in it and uh, chunks of meat. I assume these chunks of meat are pork. Let's see. It says the first ingredient is pork. I like that, not water or sugar or anything like that. Straight up pork. Then the green Anaheim peppers, navy beans, chicken broth, onions, tomatillas, jalapeno peppers, garlic puree. Looks like uh, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. So let's give it a taste. Got a smooth texture. Just say xanthan gum on here is their um, thickener. So it's got that smoothness that xanthan gum gives. Definitely got a little bite to it. I wouldn't try this on an empty stomach. If you haven't eaten anything yet already, I wouldn't make this your breakfast because that kind of spice will uh, give a lot of people indigestion. It's got a pretty good flavor though. I like it. The beans, <clears throat> excuse me, the beans do add uh, a pleasant, uh, different flavor as opposed to just chili flavor. You also have the bean flavor in there. I like that too. As a Texan, we don't normally put beans in our chili, at least not our red chili, but we don't we don't make a lot of green chili around here. So uh, at least not where I grew up. It does not taste overly porky. In fact, I can't really taste the fact that it's pork at all. Very mild flavor. It does have a well-rounded flavor profile to it. Definitely tell that the onions and the salt and the pepper and uh, the normal things like that are in there. Giving it a, a rounded flavor. It doesn't fall flat. Uh, I would definitely uh, consider eating this more often. This is pretty good stuff. The pork's got a really nice texture to it. It uh, has a little tooth to it, some firmness, but it doesn't, you're not chewing it. It falls apart pretty easy after you bite into it. Again, it does have a little bit of bite to it. Not a whole lot, uh, especially if you're not from, if you're from uh, Texas, Louisiana, New Mexico, someplace like that, that really likes their chiles. You're not going to find this too hot. If you're from uh, someplace that doesn't use a lot of heat, you are going to find this to be fairly hot, but I think it's good. I think it's tasty, and uh, like I said, I would really uh, try this again. And once again, this is Mary's Chili Verde, mild green chili with beans. There's my review of Mary's Chili Verde. Hope you enjoyed it. Go try some yourself, and until next time, hope you have an awesome week.